It's a simple act that takes seconds. Turning the key and unlocking the door to her apartment. But for 24-year-old Denisha Washington, it's so much more than that. This is my space. No one can come in here and take this from me. Washington knows what it's like to feel like she doesn't belong anywhere. Most of her life was spent in foster care. And I was taken the day I was born um, because we had drugs in our system. That set Washington on a lifelong course of moving between foster homes and residential facilities, sometimes going back to her mom when her mom got clean and sober. Foster care has always been a part of my story. That story, though, took a tragic turn when Washington was 12 and her mother died of an overdose. Everything just went silent. And from there, like the world has been silent. In the quiet moments, Washington has found healing and her voice. It is one of those things that it either builds you or it breaks you. She now helps other foster kids, especially older ones who've lived most of their lives in foster care without ever being reunited with a parent or adopted. I once was that 12 year old. As of August, the Indiana Department of Children's Services says there were more than 9,200 Hoosier children in foster care. 54% were placed with relatives. 40% were in non-relative foster homes. The rest were in residential facilities. According to DCS, right now there are 157 foster kids up for adoption. Some will find permanent families and some won't. You know, sometimes when they're 16, if they haven't found that family placement, they're, they're ready to just figure out what's next for them. Maggie Stevens is the president and CEO of Foster Success, a nonprofit that helps Indiana foster kids move into adulthood up until they're 26. A big part of our work is to make sure our young people feel heard, supported, and empowered. Foster Success helps with everything from financial literacy and credit building to buying a first car and writing a resume. Washington is still part of the program and just started school at IU. She often wears this t-shirt. This is a quote that I am living by. Let yourself feel it all. Washington has and is grateful for it. Now hoping she can help other kids in foster care do the same. In Indianapolis, Emily Longnecker, 13 News.